I'm Stephen Munger. I'm a professor in the Department of Anatomy and Neurobiology. And um, in our lab, we focus on the chemical senses, the senses of smell and taste, and how an, an animal recognizes odors, nutrients, and, and other chemicals in their environment in order to make an informed decision about what they want to eat or who they want to interact with. Or, or how they want to go about their daily lives. A lot of our focus over the last few years has been on the taste system, and in the taste system particularly how the system regulates its ability to detect things like sweet compounds, which are, could be natural sugars that bring you necessary calories, artificial sweeteners that give you that same perception of sweetness but don't have the calories, or other compounds, bitter ones, that are often warnings about the, the presence of toxins. One thing that we found is that taste buds, the, the collection of cells in your mouth that recognize sweet or bitter or salty things, are able to produce a variety of, of hormones that are known in other parts of the body to regulate metabolism. And specifically, We've been able to now assess the way that the intestines respond to the sugars that we ingest with foods and how those mechanisms relate to our body's ability to prepare for that large amount of sugar that we're taking and properly regulate our blood sugar. This is something that goes awry in conditions like diabetes. So what we're doing now is trying to take those molecular tools that we first defined in the taste system in the mouth and use them in the gut to identify new potential drug targets that could perhaps lead to better diabetes treatments or perhaps new dietary approaches that would allow people to avoid developing diabetes in the first place. But the ultimate goal is to take this into a clinical setting. So we've been combining with bariatric surgeons, working with them, who have the ability to help us assess whether these same mechanisms, these same potential drug targets are in humans. And if so, if we can mimic some of the beneficial effects that bariatric surgery has, especially for the resolution of diabetes symptoms, uh, if we can mimic those in a pharmacological way.